My name is uh, Dr. Sandy Kapoor. I'm the uh, Chief of Transplant Surgery here at uh, Wild Cornell Medical Center. And um, my areas of focus are in uh, kidney and pancreas transplantation. Transplantation is a multidisciplinary field. Um, it brings together disciplines from surgery and medicine. And we have an outstanding team here that emulates that. And um, transplantation is a very young field. It's only been around for about 50 years. Remember, the first successful human kidney transplant was only performed in 1954. And since that time, there's really been a virtual explosion of knowledge. And I'm happy to say that our center, I think, is at the forefront of uh, continuing to advance and uh, push the uh, frontiers in transplantation. And we do that by looking at several things. Um, uh, since transplantation is so complex, uh, it, stings, it extends beyond just the surgery. Um, but concerning the surgery, we're, we are a leading innovator in uh, minimally invasive uh, surgery for uh, removing the organ uh, from a potential donor. Um, and um, we have uh, probably performed the most number of living donor transplants in the New York area. Um, I think uh, in terms of other uh, uh, frontiers, uh, we have really excelled in our ability to develop new immune protocols which benefit our transplant patients for in terms of getting less immunosuppression uh, and having better results with less complications. We are what I consider a high volume center. Uh, we did uh, nearly, we did over 240 transplants last year which uh, places us within the top five nationally. This year we're at a pace to do nearly 300 transplants, and which would place us uh, in the top one or two programs uh, across the country. Um, uh, those types of volumes uh, obviously translate into uh, excellent surgical skills and, uh, and uh, excellent outcomes, which um, our results really bear out. Our program is number one in New York City in terms of volume, and uh, we expect to repeat that again this year. I think one of the unique aspects of our program is that we offer basically every opportunity for transplantation to occur for a patient that comes to our center. This makes us very different than, than most programs uh, across the United States and in this city. Um, we have programs available for people that come to us with donors that are not compatible um, uh, with themselves. We have programs where if patients come and for some reason um, their donor and uh, their, their donor is found not to be compatible, um, uh, we can pre-treat the recipient to uh, allow the transplant to go forward. Um, we have programs where we can facilitate donor exchanges so that if there's one pair that again are not compatible, but there's a second pair of which the person from that second pair is compatible with the first and the and a person in the first pair is compatible with the second. We can initiate an exchange so it becomes a win-win situation for everyone and again allows for a successful transplant to, uh, to occur. Um, I think we excel in offering these very advanced um, um, medical therapeutic options in terms of um, we've had a molecular test that's been developed at our site that allows us to follow, follow our patients in a non-invasive way and really adjust their immune therapy in a very specific way that is unique to our center. Um, those things result in less immunosuppression, less complications uh, for our patients. Um, these are things that we find uniquely uh, here at Cornell. We've developed a uh, unique uh, uh, molecular clinical test here, which has allowed us to really eliminate the use of steroids uh, in our patients, which uh, for a long time has been a real problem in transplantation and creating a lot of very um, bad side effects that, uh, that patients uh, would really complain about. But now, since 2001, in fact, um, nearly 90% of our patients are off steroids after uh, the first two or three days after their transplant. And that's been a very meaningful advancement for our patients.